Hey guys, it's Will It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Thanks for finding us. If you could give us a sub and a thumbs up and a comment and all that fun, fun stuff, it would be much appreciated. I'm sorry for all the glare I'm getting off my glasses. It's just, I have like the overhead lights on in here. I'm in the green room with the wall that looks like a green screen. It's a fun place to record because people will watch the video and be like, why didn't you fill in the green screen? But believe it or not, that's not actually a green screen. My wall is just green and that's just what it looks like. And I don't have the appropriate lighting set up to do proper green screen, I don't think. Mike, who is the editor, uh, you know, who's my partner in this channel, does all the technical stuff. Uh, maybe he'll drop some stuff in there and surprise me. I don't really know, but I don't expect him to. I expect to just see my green wall on YouTube. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, it's a big day because it is Shaw Scope Volume Fricking 2. I have been dying to make this video for like two weeks. My tripod broke. The day I was going to sit down and record this video, which was like 12 days ago at this point, my tripod, which I took it out of the closet, it was it just, just fall into pieces. I don't know what happened. I don't know if like something heavy fell on top of it. I don't know if my kids got it and ripped it to pieces. Like I genuinely don't know what happened, but it was destroyed. So I had to order another one. The other one took a while to show up. It was just kind of very frustrating because this announcement was made and this is huge. And this is what everybody has been waiting for for months and months and months. And holy shit, this is an announcement like this is mega. This is coming November 22nd of 2022 from Arrow in both the US and the UK. It's got, I think, 14 movies? Like, what are they thinking? This is an insane, gigantic set. A lot of the stuff that I have been told is rumored to be on here is, in fact, on here. People are going to be so hyped and so excited. Before I get into all the details of this set, I will say there have been some rumors I've seen on social media that this is it that it's like volume one, volume two, and Arrow is done with Shaw Scope sets. That's not true. I've basically heard from the horse's mouth that they are doing volumes three and four. They are currently working on those, and that um, Chor Yun will be featured on one of those sets, which is really exciting for me, because you know I'm a huge, huge fan of Chor Yun. He's my favorite Shaw Brothers director, and like movies like Black Lizard and, um, uh, I'm just I'm just getting my computer set up here to read you all the, the bonus material that's on here and everything like that. Black Lizard, Bat Without Wings, like Clan of the Amazons, um, like the, the Breaking Sword. Like these are among my favorite um, Shaw Brothers films and these are Troy Yoon films and he's just an incredible filmmaker. And the fact that he is being featured on these upcoming releases is really, really, like for me personally, not just as someone who has this channel and does these reviews, but for me personally is really, really exciting. And then Sun Chung is also gonna be featured uh, apparently heavily in upcoming the upcoming Shaw Scope set. So uh, Sun Chung, if you don't know, directed Avenging Eagle, which is actually probably my favorite Shaw Brothers movie, and then also directed Human Lanterns which is completely insane, which I reviewed recently, which 88 Films put out. And so I, and I think those are the only two um, movies of his that I've seen. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that those are the two movies of his uh, that I've seen. And actually, so here's where my brain completely broke. This is what I've been typing in to look this up. The Deadly Breaking Sword actually is Sun Chung. I got confused in my brain because I was thinking about movies that Chor Yun and Sun Chung had directed and my, my brain just like flipped them around. But anyway, I love both of those filmmakers and I'm really excited about that. But that's, that's, that's neither here nor there because what we're talking about right now is Shot Scope Volume 2. So picking up where Volume 1 left off, this sophomore collection of Hong Kong cinema classics draws together many of the best films from the final years of Shaw Studio, proving that while the end was nigh, these merchants of martial arts mayhem weren't going out without a fight. Armed with stunning special features and ravishing new restorations, this box set is even bigger and bolder than the last one. So I'm going to read you what's on the discs. Oh, and also here, limited edition Blu-ray contents. High definition Blu-ray presentations of 14 films, including nine new 2K restorations by Arrow Films. So that's important to note. 
according to, J I think James Flower is his name, who is the guy who I think runs Arrow or is like there, he's like heavily involved in all their releases and stuff like that. He put a, a big post on Twitter explaining this and basically said that the cost and the time required to do brand new restorations of all of these films was just overwhelming. And they, Arrow did not realize how expensive and how time consuming it was going to be. And so what they what they ended up doing when they got deep in the process of Shaw Scope Volume 2 was they went through all the existing materials for these films and they picked the ones that were most in need of restoration and they scanned and newly restored those. And then the other films, which is, I think they said, they said there's nine new restorations. Yeah, so the other five films, Arrow believed those were in good enough shape with the existing HD masters that they could be put on a Blu-ray um, and that they would they would pass muster. They would be sufficiently high quality that Arrow would be willing to put them out and not feel like subconscious about it forever because they believed that the existing HD masters did a, a good job of um, preserving those films and providing fidelity for what they like should look and sound like, essentially. Um, so that's that. And then if you, I think if you look, I think his name is, I think his name is James Flowers. If you look him up on Twitter, you'll be able to find his whole post and read it. Um, illustrated 60 page collector's book featuring new writing by David Desser, Jonathan Clements, Lovely John and David West, plus cast and crew listings on notes on each film by Simon Abrams. New artwork by Mike Lee Graham, Chris Malbun, Kagan McLeod, Colin Murdoch, Kung Fu Bob, hell yeah, Lucas Peverell, uh, Elon Sheedy. So Elon Sheedy did the um, the artwork for the Arrow release of the One Arm Boxer, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. Like I love that slipcase, and I'm very excited to see that artwork. Uh, Tony Stella, who's you know very famous um, for doing like a lot of kind of vinegar syndrome stuff and other like. Uh, I think Tony Stella does painting and has done like paintings of like Indiana Jones posters and like stuff like that, Apocalypse Now. Darren Wheeling and Jolian Yates. And I apologize if I have mispronounced anyone's name in there. I do that a lot. Hours of never before seen bonus features, which I will be reading to you soon, and two CDs. Disc one, the 36th chamber of Shaolin. Brand new 4K restoration by Celestial Pictures and Le Imagine Retrovata. So this is maybe one of the ones that Arrow believed they didn't need to do their own restoration of because there is a 4K restoration of it that exists that they had access to. Newly restored, uncompressed Mandarin, Cantonese, and English original mono audio. Newly translated English subs plus English hard of hearing subtitles for the English dub. Brand new feature commentary from critic Travis Crawford. Brand new select scene commentary by film critic and historian Tony Raines. Interview with star Gordon Liu, filmed in 2003. Interview with cinematographer Arthur Wong, filmed in 2006. Shaolin, Birthplace of a Hero and Elegant Trails. Two archival featurettes with Gordon Liu, produced by Celestial Pictures in 2003. Tiger Style, the musical impact of martial arts cinema. A newly filmed overview of Shaw Brothers' influence on hip-hop and other music genres featuring... Um, music historian Lovely John. That sounds really awesome. Uh, Cinema Hong Kong, Sword Fighting, the second installment of a three-part documentary produced by Celestial Pictures in 2003 featuring interviews with Gordon Liu, Lau Kar Lung, Cheng Pei Pei, John Wu, Sam Mo Hung, Kara Hui, David Chang, and others. That alone is probably worth buying this set. I should also say that the cost of this set is the list price is higher than the previous one, and a lot of people pointed that out, and they were kind of balking at the cost of it. The U.S. list price is $189.95, but it is currently listed on Arrow's store for $145, and I would imagine you could get it for closer to $100 around when it comes out a lot of people have been saying who a lot of people who are daunted by the price have been saying that they're not going to pre-order they're going to wait and see if the cost comes down a little bit on amazon because i guess they're saying that they got the volume the volume one set the list price was a little bit lower but they're saying they got the volume one set for like less than 100 bucks we're waiting a couple months after it came out so they're hoping that the price on this comes down as well um I don't know when I will be able to get my hands on this, actually, to be totally honest with you. Um, I'm hoping to review some more stuff from the Volume 1 set for Shaw Timber this year, because September is coming up in just a couple weeks. Um, but 
uh, it, there's so many releases that are coming out this fall that I'm going to want to review with like the Eureka Police Story set, the Eureka Super Cop standalone Blu-ray, um, Writing Wrongs and On the Run from 88 Films. Um, the There's just a lot coming out and I kind of have to figure out how much money we have from Patreon. Here's a Patreon plug. Go sign up. Two bucks a month, five bucks a month. There's exclusive stuff, early releases. It's awesome. Get in there. It's a really fun community. Um, and our Google ad payouts and stuff. I just kind of have to figure out what what I what I can afford to review for the channel. So I really, really, really want to get this set and, and go through it with you. But it kind of depends on financial situation. Um, alternate opening credits for the American version, which was titled Master Killer. Hong Kong and German theatrical trailers and TV spots in an image gallery, Disc 2, Return to the 36th Chamber, and Disciples of the 36th Chamber. So all three of them are on here. And that's one of the things that I heard rumored a lot, that it was going to this set was going to contain all those three. So I was excited to see those on here because I'm like, hey, the rumor mill is right. Um, uncompressed Cantonese Mandarin in English original mono audio for both films, newly translated English subtitles for both films, plus The Heart of Hearing. Interview with Garden Lou, filmed in 2003. Citizen Shaw, a French TV documentary from 1980, directed by Maurice Friedland, in which Sir Run Run Shaw gives an all-access tour of the Shaw Brothers' back lot, including behind-the-scenes footage from Return to the 30th Chambers. That sounds incredible. Remastered in high definition. I've never even heard of that before. That sounds amazing. Now, I, like, I want this so hard. These bonus features sound incredible, plus these movies. I mean, this, someone said on, I think on Instagram, when I posted what movies were going to be in this set, uh, which movies, excuse me, they said it's like a rogues gallery of classic films. Like, it's just ridiculous what's on here. It's just like with the first one. Um, okay. And then you get the trailers and the image galleries. Disc 3, Mad Monkey Kung Fu and Five Super Fighters. Brand new 2K restorations of both films from the original negatives by Arrow Films. Uncompressed Canto Mandarin and English subtitles. Or, excuse me, English original mono for both films. Newly translated English subs for both films. Plus optional hard of hearing subs for the English dub. Brand new commentary for Mad Monkey Kung Fu by Frank Jang and Michael Wirth. Fuck yeah. You know I love them both, and I love them together. New filmed, Newly filmed appreciation of Mad Monkey Kung Fu by Tony Raines. Interview with actor Shao Hu from 2004. Shaw in the USA, a brand new featurette on how Shaw Brothers broke into the American market featuring Grady Hendrix and Chris po Poggiali. Um, whose name I see actually a lot, but I just, I'm like, I'm so bad at pronouncing things because I just see it in writing and I don't, you know what I mean? I'm just so bad at it and I apologize. Uh, authors of These Fists Break Bricks, Hong Kong and U.S. trailers for Mad Monkey Kung Fu, Hong Kong theatrical trailer and U.S. V or U UK VHS promo for Five Super Fighters and an image gallery for both films. Disc 4, Invincible Shaolin and the Kid with the Golden Arm. Come on, that is a fucking double feature. Brand new 2K restorations of both films from the original negatives by Arrow. Uncompressed Mandarin and English original mono audio for both films plus Cantonese mono for Invincible Shaolin. Newly translated English subs for both films plus The Heart of Hearing. Interview with actor with action director Robert Tai, filmed in 2003. Poison Clan Rocks the World, the brand new visual essay on the Venom mob written and narrated by Terrence J. Brady. Alternate continuity cut of The Kid with the Golden Arm, presented via seamless branching. Wow, that sounds really cool. Alternate and textless title sequence for The Kid with the Golden Arm, Hong Kong theatrical trailer for Invincible Shaolin, Hong Kong theatrical trailer and US TV spot for The Kid with the Golden Arm, and then image galleries for both. Disc 5, Magnificent Ruffians and the Ten Tigers of Quan Tung. Hell yeah. Uh, this is uh, new 2K from the original negatives by Arrow. Uh, it has the uncompressed Mandarin in English for both films, plus Canto for Ten Tigers. Newly translated English subs for both, plus the hard of hearing for the dub. Uh, brand new audio commentary on Ten Tigers from Brandon Bentley. Wow, no way. No way. So Brandon Bentley does audio for a shitload of releases. Um, it does amazing work with the audio. It does, like, like for instance, when, when 88 Films does those, like, um... Uh, definitive, whatever they call them, supercuts of the films, where they take like all of the footage from all of the versions of the films and stick them together. He cuts together all the audio from all the versions, but like he does like so much work, and he's really active in my Facebook group, and it's like a super nice dude, and we'll talk to people about the releases, the behind the scenes processes, like all kinds. He's just like a really nice person who's like really engaged in the community and stuff. So that's really cool. I'm really excited about that. Interview with star Chin Sui Ho, who is in Seventh Curse, which I recently reviewed, although 
actually this video will probably come out before that one because that's going as a Patreon early release. So anyway, you'll see that eventually on the channel. I did review that film. Rivers and Lakes, brand new video essay on the Shaw Brothers' depiction of Chinese myth and history, written and narrated by Jonathan Clements, author of A Brief History of China. Wow, that sounds really cool. The bonus stuff on here is just amazing. Like, you can spend your entire, well, probably not your entire life, depending on how long you live for, but you can spend a significant portion of your life just watching these Shaw sets and just enjoying the shit out of them and just, ah, oh, God. Uh, I'm like getting so hyped for this. <laughs> I, can't, I know in the back of my mind, I can't afford it without selling a lung. Or, I don't know, do you sell lungs? What organs do people buy? Kidneys? <laughs> Shows how much I know about the black market for organs. <laughs> My lung. How, how would you breathe? Anyway. <laughs> uh, Hong Kong uh, and German theatrical trailers for Magnificent Ruffians. Hong Kong trailers with Mandarin and Canto options. And a US TV spot for 10 Tigers and Image Galleries. Disc 6, My Young Auntie. Hell yeah, this is so classic. Uncompressed Canto Mandarin and English uh, original mono options, and then newly translated English subs plus the hard of hearing for the dub. Brand new select scene commentary from Tony Raines. Interview with Kara Huey, filmed in 2003. Cinema Hong Kong, The Beauties of Shaw Studios, the final installment in the three part documentary. Wow, cool. Uh, produced by Celestial Pictures in 2003. Alternate standard definition VHS version. That's really cool. And then theatrical trailer and image gallery, Disc 7, Mercenaries from Hong Kong, and the Boxer's Omen. So that was another one that I heard was going to be on here. Um, if you are ready for the most insane freak out, bat shit, what the fuck, body horror, black magic, Buddhist, psychedelic gore fest you have ever fucking seen, put on Boxer's Omen. That's what I'm going to say about that. Brand new 2K restorations of both films from the original negatives by Arrow, uncompressed Canto and Mandarin, original mono audio for both films, plus English mono for Mercenaries from Hong Kong. Newly translated English subtitles for both films, plus optional hard of hearing subtitles for the English dub. Brand new audio commentary on the Boxer's Omen by critic Travis Crawford. Newly filmed appreciation of filmmaker K. Kuei Chi Hong, and again, I apologize for my pronunciation, uh, by film critic and historian Tony Raines. Additional footage from the Mandarin VHS version of Boxer's Omen. What the fuck did I come on? Uh, <laughs> I want it so hard. <laughs> That's what she said. What is happening in this video right now? It's gone so far off the rails, we can't even see where the rails are anymore. <laughs> We're like in outer space flying through the cosmos. No one can breathe. And they're just like, what's happening? Anyway. Uh, okay. That's that disc. <laughs> disc 8. Martial Arts of Shaolin and the Barefoot Kid. Hell, you know, the Barefoot Kid is a giant toe movie. Um, and it, it's a remake, I believe, of a Chang Che film. Um, uncompressed Cantonese Mandarin and English original mono audio for both films. Newly translated English subtitles plus optional hard of hearing subtitles of English dub. Brand new commentary on Martial Arts of Shaolin by Jonathan Clements. Brand new commentary on The Barefoot Kid by Frank Zhang. Yes, hell yeah. Newly filmed appreciation of both films by Tony Raines. Interview with Martial Arts of Shaolin screenwriter Se Yung Ping from 2004. Alternate standard definition version of Martial Arts of Shaolin. Hell yeah. Hong Kong and Japanese theatrical trailers for Martha, Martial Arts of <laughs> Martha Arts of Shaolin. Plus trailers for the preceding Shaolin Temple film starring Jet Li. Oh wow, that's really cool. Um, Hong Kong theatrical trailer and US or UK VHS promo for The Barefoot Kid. Image galleries for both films. Disc 9. Music from the 36 Chambers of Shaolin, Five Supervisors, Invincible Shaolin, and The Kid with the Golden Arm as an audio CD. And Disc 10, Music from Return of the 36 Chambers, Magnificent Ruffians, Ten Twigers of Quantum, My Young Auntie, Mercenaries from Hong Kong, and Disciples of the 36 Chambers. It is a 10 disc, 8 Blu-ray, 2 CD, Shaw Extravaganza, Shaw Scope Volume 2, coming from Arrow, November 22nd of 2022. I'm exhausted just reading about it, but I am so excited to have it. My name is Will. This is Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. I thank you so much for watching, as always. Please do drop in the comments what you think about this set, how excited you are for it, which movies you most want to see, what you hope is going to be on Volumes 3, and for I thank you so much for joining me on this very long journey. It's been 20 minutes since I started this video. And I'm really kind of worried about what it's going to be like when it ends up getting edited. 
And there's that section where I'm talking in a demon voice. <laughs> so we'll see you next time.